I have a big celebration today. Guess what? I am now officially Canadian. I just got my Canadian passport. Yay! <laughs> November 10 from now on is going to be my oh, annual so celebratory date for freedom. I mean, this is big for me because this is what I have been working for for almost two decades to get here. I just got my Canadian passport yesterday, so I had to celebrate with cake and maybe get some ramen as well. I'm just overly ecstatic to finally get to this point because this is 19 years of accomplishment, 5 years of waiting in Canada in order to get this passport. It is so significant. This is like basically what I worked so hard for for the last 19 years of my life this is my dream since i was 17 is when i came to the u.s and i realized that i wanted to be the world explorer i wanted to be a nomad and be a world traveler but i couldn't do it with this passport um this is my vietnamese passport by the way so now I am dual citizen. <laughs> now I can say that I am a world citizen. World citizen. If anyone asks me from now on where I'm from, I will just say that I'm, I am world citizen. <laughs> it's kind of complicated. Every time people ask me, oh, where are you from? Like, I don't know if I should trace back to my roots being Vietnamese and US and then um, uh, BC and now here in Nova Scotia. I, I don't know. My home is all over the place. Wherever I feel at home, I guess. Um, it, it doesn't have any fixed location. I mean, I didn't feel like I was from Vietnam because I feel so isolated when I was there anyway. But I cannot believe that I'm, I finally get to this point and it, it's so beautiful I'm just it's not like I disregard my heritage where I come from but to get from here to here that is a lot of work and this is 19 years of trying to fit in, trying to please other people, a lot of failure, a lot of hard work, suppressing myself, going on the wrong path to finally realize, oh, I was wrong, I was at the bottom <laughs> and had to get out of it and, um, and, and, find my courage to go on a different path in order to get here so in order to get this it was not just a physical labor achievement but a lot of mental and psychological achievement as well because I had to find a lot of I guess courage and faith and trust to trust in the universe to to guide me in order to find this freedom like where I am today because if I could have stuck if if I could have got stuck to the US I don't think I would have gotten this I don't like this fast I don't think I would get this at all so a lot of lessons I had to learn, a lot of hard work <laughs> that I had to do in order to get here. Like I, I took some moment to really think about the journey that I went through. And everything is in this book, by the way. If you haven't got my book already, I explained the journey that I went through from here to here. Wow. 
so that's the reason why I'm just I was just so happy to finally get to the end point like to get that level of freedom that I always wanted but from here this is I think this is just like another chapter another layer of freedom that I would have to unravel from now on like now that I have this physical level of freedom like basically the freedom of movement um, or you could say the first world privilege that I had to try to achieve because I wasn't born from here and that got me to think a lot about the inequality of the world because I had to be born from here in order to experience this inequality to learn how to free myself and find a way to help I guess and find a way to achieve that freedom and and understand the discrimination and the the inequality of the world and I feel like that is my life experience like what I need to went through in order to have more understanding of this life because that's all that I because if I don't understand that I wouldn't be able to have this desire of, of freedom um, not just the physical freedom of movement but the the mental freedom the or even the spiritual freedom that we we all have to go through and I feel like I needed to understand the level of the restriction of where I come from and the understanding of inequality of the war and the discrimination of the war and this is really sad like to see how unequal it is like how unfair it is for a lot of people in the world that are not able to travel, not able to explore because I think that when we have the freedom of movement, when we are able to uh, explore, we can learn from different cultures, we can open our mind to different concepts and that is how we can grow and evolve as human but a lot of people from my country do not have that privilege do not have that type of freedom so I feel extremely fortunate to be able to have that opportunity and to to be able to see the world and to travel and see understand different cultures and meet so many people from different countries and that that's what I really wanted to learn to see and to know um, different culture different races uh, because to me I think knowledge is power it really is powerful because with knowledge, you can be more creative, you can solve problems. Um, it, it opens up different perceptions that you may not have known before. That's why in spiritual growth, we all say that awareness is key to everything. And I feel like that's the path that I had to go through from here to here is to help people to understand that it is possible and why it's so critical for us to have that level of freedom so we all can 
evolve together so we we can get gain the knowledge and the wisdom that we can grow as a person and it's just really sad for me that not everyone in the world has this opportunity this uh, this privilege to to learn and to grow that way and that's the reason why I see why everyone here in America, Canada and Europe like grow so fast uh, people here is just have more opportunities to learn and have knowledge um, because they they get to explore the world and go wherever they want without any restriction but not with the Vietnamese the people from Southeast Asia and maybe some other part of the world as well uh, and and that's the reason why it's so much harder for people from this part of the world to be more developed because the knowledge is um, is limited. There's there's a lot of restriction around it, and I just find that it's really unfair. Like why I had to go through this much for almost two decades in order to gain this privilege, in order to have the opportunity to to grow and. And see the world and and have the ability and opportunity to basically to build my dream because I don't think that a lot of people from Vietnam would have that opportunity just to do whatever they want because there's just so much restriction around it and the mindset also is very limited as well so I feel incredibly fortunate and I'm I don't know like why is me you know? like make, yes I, I did a, I put a lot of work into it to make that happen to make my dream happen but when whenever I go back to Vietnam it's really frustrating for me because I don't feel like I fit in with the culture I don't feel like I fit in with the environment with the people over there because my my way of thinking and my perception is so greatly expanded and I just wish that these people can see what I see and they can understand what I understand but it's, it's frustrating to even explain anything because they never been outside of the country and they they never been because they can't a lot of them are not allowed to travel they're not allowed to see other places in the world and and that's why i i feel and I guess that's the reason why I had the desire to have that freedom in the beginning when I had the opportunity to leave Vietnam and go to the US I've, I, when I was 17 because I was, I was like that was so lucky and I didn't know how that just dropped on me. <laughs> I, I don't know how I was that lucky like it, it felt like it was meant to be and not a lot of people in my country had that opportunities right so and that was the reason why I didn't want to go back there in the beginning I didn't want to go back in Vietnam in the beginning because I felt like oh like I didn't have a lot of ego back then. I felt like it was such a big failure. I didn't want to go like from you know US to Vietnam. It was like uh, going to first class to economy class. 
because I was so used to that lifestyle over there but when I actually went back to Vietnam and lived back there for two years um, after having been to the US for like over a decade like it it gave me such a profound lesson and having more understanding of my desire and why I wanted that freedom so much and why I wanted to break through of all the restriction the governmental restriction or the war restriction around um, around freedom of movement and a lot of it I also explained in my book as well if you want to know the background story you can um, check out my book and where to get my book is linked in the description so this is when I got here I feel like this is my responsibility to inspire people maybe um, and I want to say it in a humble way because I don't find that I am such like a big uh, person <laughs> to uh, to influence people in any way but I think that if you for many people that are on similar paths like mine know that it's possible to achieve your dream and if you have this dream of freedom no matter how long no matter how hard it is it is really possible but it is not without hard work a lot of hard work a lot of determination a lot of just faith courage not just in the physicality but also in the, the mental and psychological way so a lot of trust in the universe like to know like and trust in your heart your intuition to know which way is the way to go um, like I explained in my book I were when I was in the US um, if I could have stayed in the US I don't think I would got here I don't think I would get this passport or get this level of freedom so a lot of courage and trust in the universe that you have to let go of your um, yes we have dream and yes we 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 have um our i would say uh our goal to where we want to go but sometimes it may not be the right path and if things feels really heavy and restrictive and if you and everything collapsed and not things working then maybe it's a sign that you would have to go in a different way even you don't want to even though it's painful even though it can be very helpful that's my lesson like if I didn't let go of the US because I cling so hard into it I wouldn't get this level of freedom and I think that if I could have stayed in the US I wouldn't have the green card or, or a US passport <laughs> which to me in the book like in the book I explain it it meant freedom to me green card meant freedom to me if I could have stayed there I don't think I would achieve this level of freedom and so this is like 19 years journey finally coming to an end loop an end circle I think this is um, I think that 
this may just be opening a new path for me from here on coming to Canada and achieve this this um, this level of freedom I think that is opening up a new opportunity or a new foundation for me to to continue growing to expand um, my capability and my ability because I understand that I was able to achieve this so now I can do more with whatever I want in my life and when I come to this point I understand that a deeper layer of freedom that is just it doesn't mean anything in physicality it means free of in a mental plane I would say um, free in the mind after I go through this journey that is that is how I come to understand deeper meaning of freedom and why I desire so much in the beginning why I desire so much of equality um, of um, after experiencing a lot of uh, harassment and discrimination I guess I think all of those experiences is just for me to understand the world and it helps me to um, maybe create my path uh, where I want to go in the future so I think this is basically just the foundation of my life that I was able to build and achieve so I feel very grateful and humble for having this opportunity this freedom in my life and I understand clear about my purpose um, where I want to go in the future and how I want to be the service for the world because of the life journey that I went through on the struggles that I went through because in ultimately what I want to see in this world is to have a world with no border like people are free to go wherever they want so to explore wherever they feel like that and I I don't want that to be a privilege for just a certain group of people just certain citizen but for everyone in the world like I said, this it should not be privileged at all. Like people shouldn't have to go through like two decades of hard work in order to to have this privilege. It it belongs to everyone. We are born to be free and I feel like we're being stripped off of that freedom and that was create further separation discrimination and racism and hatred in the war and that's why we have war we don't have peace so so i think that is what i want to bring to the world that's how i want to help this world to become in the future and everything has to be achieved from the inside out not the outside in because clearly 
clearly my journey in the US was like the outside in <laughs> like I had to I, I keep chasing on the material status in order to chase freedom until I let go of that and learn to be free from the inside now I can achieve this um, so that's I feel that's is like a proven path for everyone out there to see that no you cannot you cannot have freedom by chasing material status no matter how much money or how high your rank is in the society you're not gonna be able to have that level of freedom and so it has to be you have to let go first all of that perception that restrictive way of thinking that 3d thinking to achieve the to to open up um your inner freedom so you can manifest it in your real life your physical life you have to have that inner freedom first and i went through it i experienced it so i'm telling you <laughs> i'm telling you that it has to be in the inside out and if you want to know more about my story is in my book and that's the message i want to share with you today beside the fact that i'm super thrilled to share this this good news this huge accomplishment of my life and i feel like there's so many opportunities for me now i'm just not really sure like where i want to go in the future but i'm just super super grateful for um, finally getting to the end of this path so i'm very very happy and i just want to share that joy and that gratitude with you out there so if you are working on something um remember that you would have to achieve it from the inside out have just have faith and have courage to follow your dream and also have have the discernment in order to have the courage you have to have the discernment to know which path to go and you have to tune into the wisdom of your heart to make that decision and make that leap of faith so thank you so much for watching i am super thrilled and excited i'm gonna continue eating my cheesecake oh, it's so delicious i haven't finished it yet <laughs> i'm gonna go and finish my cheesecake and go on a walk with marco and just sipping in this joy and this accomplishment for myself so I wish you a fabulous day um, and enjoy the rest of sunshine before the winter comes. Until the next video, I will see you then. Bye. Hey, if you want to know more about my immigration story and my growth journey, make sure that you check out my book. It's listed on my website livingthroughalchemy.com and if you enjoyed the book, please don't forget to leave me a review. Have a blessed day. Bye.